Welcome to Most Squared. We are two coaches, both named Maureen, who are here to offer you some tips and ideas on how to live a really good life and to help you when you get stuck. Maureen, what would you like to share today? Well, we were talking about belonging and uh and how being seen by the people that you love and really heard by them in meaningful ways uh is related to belonging and you, you just had your family reunion so <laughs> and you were describing um some of those sentiments at that point uh, during that time and I'm wondering maybe whether you'd like to just uh, share a little bit about what you did and mm. and what you walked away with. Thank you. Yeah, it's. Uh, what did I do? Well. Last week when you and I met, <laughs> you you left me with a bit of a. Uh, a challenge to to stay these are my words to stay present and to stay in my my own power and energy and having that as a a reminder for myself helped me to notice when i was uh, falling into my self doubt place who am i to be the one speaking up because I was basically the MC at the, at our family reunion. And, and so what, what I did was I recognized when that was happening and I could feel literally feel my energy plummet or feel that what I call the icky feeling. That's a really great descriptor. And I acknowledged it for myself. Ah, there it is. And it was almost like the then the natural curiosity, what are you needing? And so putting into practice a lot of the the practices that I've been doing with meditating. And there is a practice that I learned years ago from Tara Brack, and that's the rain practice. Recognize, allow, investigate or inquire. And nurture and so that has become a part of my daily living essentially and it naturally came into play that so so essentially um you took what you had learned uh, and were applying to your life in private mm -hmm. to a public se setting yes Yes. The other thing that I did was I gave myself permission to have fun and to be playful and allow that natural part of me to have lots of space. Mm -hmm. And that had been a, a conscious decision ahead of time. And uh, before mm -hmm. uh, this this weekend, what would you typically find yourself doing instead of allowing that playful part of yourself to appear? Oh my gosh, that would be me thinking, how, how am I expected to be? What if somebody points a finger or something and I would just feel that, uh, wanting to it's almost like wanting to draw back and hide go within and afraid that I might offend somebody a, a lot of fear of how others might receive me and and so there would be almost like a a surrounding of protection around me to not allow the more of me to come through that makes sense 
Well, yeah, and, and and also I think what you're describing is a tendency toward looking at externally for the the um, how you should be as opposed to going internally and asking yourself how do you want to be exactly yeah so the external versus the internal focus yes and so the big thing is trusting the internal Mm. and it doesn't mean that i'm not you know kind of scanning for 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 the external validation but what i was aware of was my uh, my intention really the inspiration to really have our family connect and to be surrounded by um by this connection and that sense of belonging and it all really came through and i believe that for me for my own peace in this it was observing and seeing the uh the greetings, the conversations. And so it was like a nod. Yeah, it's happening. And well, it, it just to, to highlight something, uh, one of the things that you were sort of um, uh, just mentioning there was the focus on connection rather than getting it right, or rather than pleasing somebody else. It was really more about how do I connect uh, both with myself, which might be the playful piece, and with other people. And maybe that, it, focusing on that can be um, a really helpful thing. You nailed it. <laughs> well, it, and and that, you know, the there's a, a kind of communication um, uh, uh, sort of tool tool set called nonviolent communication, mm-hmm. which talks about that as a focus. And it's one of the ways of bridging all the differences that exist between people is to focus on the connection that you want to have. Yes, yes, yes. And while I didn't go into I've studied some of the nonviolent communication. And while that wasn't where my brain and Mm -hmm. intention went, but what I had done is what do I want for this weekend? And what do I want for them? And so part of it was taking it off of that, oh my God, deeply ingrained habit I have of getting it right. And as soon as you said that, it was like, yeah, that wasn't, yeah, it showed up from time to time, but it wasn't like the top notch here. And the the connection piece and the coming together was so important and allowing that to unfold in a natural way and have fun with it. That's what was happening. Mm. So that's what I did. Nice. So when you're kind of... Uh wanting to belong, then belonging really has to do with connection. And belonging in this particular situation had to do with allowing yourself to be seen and heard as well as listening to other people to foster connection and using play as a a modality to help when things are a little tricky. Yes. Yeah. And, and, um, and it made me also think of the, the quality of presence that I'm showing up with. And so it all weaves together. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks for asking and uh, for us having this conversation. Yeah. So any, any last uh, tip for uh, anyone listening? Well, using, yeah, giving yourself loads of compassion and to be really kind to yourself when you notice yourself wanting to be uh, connecting with others and it doesn't go the way that you had anticipated or wanted and to continue practicing. 
with kindness. Because that's what, well, that's what it's taken me. And so I offer that to you. Okay. So if you'd like to connect with me, it's MaureenMayhew.com. And with you, Mo? It's MoKayleeVerdonk.com. And if you like what we're sh- we're sharing, please subscribe to our channel. And until next time, take really good care. <laughs>